Oh, Tommy Walsh had a very specific set of criteria when we asked him for his uh, top ten. And before I read out what they are, I'm going to explain. So no more than two players from one county was one that he did. If I had to pick ten players that win, would win an All-Ireland for me next Sunday, this is the team I would pick. It's not based on the last couple of years, it's based on this moment in time. So uh, he invented his own parameters because he's a unique man. And so uh, these are the ten that he's come up with. And there's a bit of uniqueness in this. Conor Lee Han is ten, John McGrath is nine, TJ Reid is eight, Jamie Barron is seven. Owen Murphy, the Kilkenny goalie, is six. Yep. Conor Callaghan is five. Joe Canning is four. Paddy Maher is three. Dahi Burke is two. And Austin Gleeson is one. David Burke doesn't make his team, but uh, Dahi makes it a two. And Austin Gleeson is his hurler, uh, best hurler, power ranking. And Conor Callaghan is number five. I mean, mm. this is an amazing lip with a goalkeeper. No one else thought to I, pick, pick I actually had Owen Murphy in my list for a long, long time. And I thought, do you know what? It's more forgivable to leave him out than anyone else. But he's not the I, best hurler, best goalkeeper in the country. He's the greatest goalkeeper of all time. Is Justify he? that. He is Justify the best. Justify that. Because, like, last 2014 All-Ireland, he was the decisive factor. I mean, you can talk about who scored the goals and, you know, JJ Delaney's hook and Seamus Callan and all this kind of stuff. But if you look back at the, like, there was a couple of penalties saved. He's, he's a sweeper keeper. And I know the likes of Anthony Nash and Stephen O'Keefe can do that as well. But just his body of work in the last few years, from a converted outfield player, he just made save after save after save. Uh, his puck outs are good. Like, there's nothing that this guy can't do 8 or 9 out of 10. And I remember last year being down in Ennis for a league game and I was sitting beside Colm Keyes at the Independent and the game hadn't quite started and I said to him, he's, he's the best keeper of all time. And he goes, what are you talking about? And then as the game went on, he, he went, to make, went on to make save after save after save. And then later in the year, he continued to have an unbelievable summer keeping Kilkenny in the championship, basically from the goals. And Colm Keyes goes to me, yeah, he's actually unbelievable. He's only got one All Star. Uh, this is this is like Hurling's best kept secret. Yeah, it kind of is. It's, it's one of those things. I, I don't really understand how people haven't noticed how unbelievable he is. It's funny, like their goalkeepers weren't considered up there with the very, very best during no. that crazy Cummins, uh, Don Logue sort of era, where yeah. Kenny were dominating everything, and their keepers possibly weren't tested that much. But now that he's been tested more because Kilkenny aren't quite as strong. We're seeing he has to show his, showcase his skills. But the 2014 All-Ireland, he was unbelievable. Like, one of the saves he made against Bonner as well. Like, Colm Callanan's absolutely brilliant as well. But I actually think Owen Murphy, based on the amount of time he's played at inter-county level, is the best pound for pound. You hurled with Colm Callanan and he didn't make your top ten, but he makes the top five for Tommy Walsh. What's going on here? Um, he hasn't played at inter-county level, so I thought it was a little bit kind of unfair to put him in because... You'd be okay, accused of bias. Yeah, well, I'd possibly be accused of bias, but also we've seen him when maybe a county guy marks him in a club scenario versus we haven't seen, and we have seen in football, but not in Hurling, whereby there's six inter-county defenders or, yeah. s or seven around him. So I just thought it's unfair to, to even make the comparison because we don't actually know. Do you think Colin Callan is looking at Tommy Walsh picking me in my top five hurlers in the country goal? I would say he is, will be completely unaware that this happens. I want to, I want to <laughs> play... He pays zero attention to that kind of stuff. I want to play a bit of hurling though. But it's Tommy Walsh, not us. It's not the three plebs here sitting in the studio right now. It's one of the greatest hurlers of all time. Yeah. Oh. This guy, this guy. Look, he Tommy would all be in our power rankings, wouldn't he? Yeah. If he was still playing. Yeah, I don't think Con would pay any attention to this. Like that thing before Christmas where in the media there was... Um, and a, a few articles going around where he was called The Answer because I had said that I'd heard that that was his nickname growing up. <laughs> and it actually, I actually took, uh, took up the story the wrong way. Apparently that was what some player for Kilmacud Croaks was called growing up. And I got it all wrong. And I'd say about three weeks later... Lazy journalism, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About three weeks later I said to Con, oh, did you see that? And he goes, oh yeah, someone mentioned something about that the other day. I didn't really... So he's paying zero attention. Like, he won't have a clue that this is even... No, said. sure, but like eventually... But now pointedly he might be told because I, I'm saying that he won't he be won't told. He won't be told, yeah. Um, I don't know if you're... Like, do you... How does Pat Gilroy convince him, come on, just, just give it a season. Just have it a go. Like, I'm a good hurling man, but I'd play for the Dublin footballers before the hurlers. <laughs> and, and look, the, the, the razzmatazz and what you, can, what you can do with the Dublin footballers. But what if you're the one who brings the razzmatazz to the hurlers? What if you're like the founding, you're the Michael Jordan of this team? Like, do you, can you walk away from that Dublin football team? I mean, I get what you're saying, and he, he would bring a serious X-factor to that team. But uh, it's so hard to walk away from that it's Dublin pretty hard, football yeah. setup. The